Hello, this is Spellswise MTG, and today we're opening a box or half a box of Commander Legends. Um, I got this in the mail today, and hopefully, we'll get something interesting. So, let's get going. And this is a box made in Belgium, so the boxes are larger than the ones uh, made in the US, which is a bit odd. So you've got the thing which tells you about the draft and different archetypes. So the green blue is um, extra mana, so ramp. So um, I'm opening 12 packs today and then the rest will be used for draft. more um, and hopefully I'll be able to upload a gameplay video on the channel about that. Um, where I'll be playing with some friends and drafting. So you put those back. Let's get started. And I've got TCG play up to look at prices as well. Um, and these packs are noticed to be thicker than um, a normal pack. So and I will be um, setting aside any cards I deem playable. It's like Fintorn Elves, Preordain, that's good. I don't know if it's still worth anything. Uh, the M11 version is worth 221. Farhaven Elf, that's also playable. Terramorphic Expanse as well. Revenant, Vow of Lightning. Humble Defector, and an Opposition Agent. Uh, this was a very um, disputed card, uh, let's just say. Um, a lot of people find it a bit overpowered. Um, and it's understandable because you can gain control of people when they're searching a library, you can look at their hand. It's probably even playable in Legacy. Um, we've also got... Uh, Elegath Crossroads Order. Um, if you would scry uh, any number of cards, draw that many cards instead, it's got partner. I don't know if Commander Legends is on here yet. No, it's not on here yet. So um, it'd be nice to look at the prices, but uh, there wasn't, and that's quite a nice looking foil as well. And we've also got Ging Gilnra, Calder of Wild Wildwood. Um, I'll probably put prices at the end of the video for anything. Uh, interesting. I'll put the rares in this pile. Right, pack two. Good first pack there. Uh, probably a £12 probably card, which is quite nice. Opal Palace, that's a decent card. Fall from Favour, very good and pauper. Um, you can become the Monarch and as long as you are the Monarch, uh, Enchanted Creatures are untapped and it's untapped step and it taps it as well. Um, very good there, as Monarch is highly playable in Pauper. Maelstrom Colossus, 8 mana, 7-7 seven, seven with a Cascade. Seems quite a decent limited card. And Sphinx of the Second Sun, our first Mythic. Um, this uh, um, gives you an extra... Uh, beginning phase um, off in your post combat main phase you get to untap again uh, upkeep and draw steps again um, very interesting card there you put the mythics down uh, put the mythics there we got Brynden of the moon uh, the moon kraken quite high costed I wouldn't say it's particularly worth it as a commander and Rogar son of Ro Rogar uh, zero mana zero one first strike menace trample partner very good there and a full of a full rare with a monarch token as well. Um, Blade Griff prototype when it does come damage to a player, destroy target non land permanent of that player controls. That player that there of that player's choice that one of your opponents controls. Um, very interesting there. Pack number three. That pack seems all right. We've got full rare and a mythic, so we're doing quite well so far. Seraseer, 
Good. Commander staple there. One mana. Sacrifice creature. Scry one. And then a ramp card in blue, which is nice there. Fleshbag Mora. Marauder, very playable. Uh, three mana. When it ends Spathfield, each player sacrifices a creature. Perilous, and Pe uh, Perilous Mare, very good card, limited. Farhaven Elf again. Another terrible thick expanse. Rex Age, very good again. Um, and it ends the Destroy Target Artifacts or Enchantment. I need another one of those, so that's good. Law Seeker's Stone, it's good in mono red decks. Slash the ranks. Destroy all creatures and planeswalkers except from commanders. Um, so you can keep your best cards around, uh, your commanders. Um, probably quite good in a partner deck because you get to keep more things on the board than everyone else. Oh, that's good. And um, the Vineyard Urborg Tyrant. Uh, this was in my uh, top 10 of my favourite commanders. I might build this, it looks quite interesting. And Slurk, the All Ingesting. We got full gale strike. Uh, put the falls there. Right, pack number four, I believe. This is quite fun so far. Oh, another Viserys here. Good playable card there. I'm probably going slower than most people want, but I like to slow roll it. I've paid a lot of money for this, so there's no reason to go any slower. Fall from favour, very good there. Charcoal Diamond, uh, good reprint. Um, these are very good in uh, two colour decks and mono colour decks. Probably three colour decks, it's too much. Moss Diamond, two in one pack. I haven't got any before, but got another one. Three visits, a reprint from Portal Three Kingdoms, uh, such a way for a forest card, basically a nature's law, and a Dreamstone Hedron. Oh, oh, oh! I might need a sleeve for that one. I might just need a sleeve. Oh, oh. that's about fifty pounds, I think. Um, very nice there. Crikey. Uh, right, Kedis Emberclaw Familiar. Um, I'm not particularly bothered about anything else now. I just paid for half the box. Uh. Kedis Emberclaw Familiar. Uh, good in a Rakdos Lord of Riot decks. And um, Ickhid Sal Salvage Spicer, the Golden Tribal Commander. Right, this is pack number five, which means we have um, seven left after this, which we do. We've got a very good first four packs, in my opinion. Doom Traveller, good limited card. Foundry Inspector, great reprint there. Aqueous Form, very underrated card. Very good at the Age list, Narset. Decks I've built before. Yes, Narset. Um... Trump in the Flame, good pauper card again. From uh, Dominari originally, which is an uncommon. Another Monarch card here. Ingenuity Engine, very interesting. Uh, seven mana Cascade card. And an Aura of Phoenix, a six mana 5-3 with Cascade. And if you cast a spell of Cascade, you just return it from your graveyard to your hand. Um, more Cascade Tribals, so you can just keep on playing Cascade cards over and over again. Um, and Bell Borker, Spectral Sergeant, uh, basically a card engine in Boros. Quite an interesting commander, quite boring though. Um, just generic value. And a Moti Sediment of Bounty, uh, Cascade. Gives all your cards of CMC 6 or greater Cascade. Very good there. And a Court Street Denizen. And a Golden Token. That's quite a nice Golden Token, I think. That pack, not so good, but. Going to pack number six, I believe. So we're halfway through. Very happy so far. Core cartographer, good reprint there. Good ramp in white. First lid, another good reprint. Prefer the art to the Ikoria one. Palace Sentinels, another good reprint there. Moss Diamond. 
I'd quite like a victimize um, in the uncommon slot. So I've needed one for a while and they've just got the reprint. So, uh, oh, Frenzied Saddle Brute uh, gives everything haste, but they can't attack you. So I might put this in my Intet deck and we've got another three visits. And a Wheel of Misfortune, um, interesting card. I might put it in my Locust God deck. Uh, I'll be getting a deck tackle on that on Saturday, actually, so. Um, very interesting card. Each player secretly chooses a number, uh, zero or greater. Then all players reveal those numbers simultaneously and determine the highest and lowest numbers revealed this way. And it'll damage equal to the highest number of, to each player who that chose that number. Then each player who didn't choose the lowest number discards their hand and draws in seven cards. So it's just a worse Wheel of Fortune. Um... Still a good card though. Um, another familiar there. And Rebecca, Architect of Ascension. I believe that's got something to do with the um Yorgmoth storyline. We've got a four pilgrims eye, which is a good card, and a prismatic piper. Right. Halfway through now. Very excited about the mana drain and opposition agent and wheel of misfortune. So you've got some very good cards so far. Flood of recollection, very good card there. Return target instant or sorcery card from the graveyard to a hand. You exile it. Elvish visionary, another good reprint. Command tower, another very good reprint. I don't mind putting these in here. Although I do not know if flood of recollection is a reprint, no. So commander sphere, it's an alright reprint. Sort of falling out of favour in Commander, really, but Sisse's Ring. Mm. Turn to Dust, another great reprint. Um, instant Speed, Exile Target, Artifact, or Enchantment. And if you cast in your main phase, you get to do two of them. And then, although Crush Contraband is probably better now, um, you can destroy two enchantments of this one, whereas that you can only destroy one. Uh, Elves you can draw get plus two plus O oh, and then promise of tomorrow. Whenever a creature dies, exile it and then begin of each end step if you control no creatures, sacrifice it and then return all creature cards exiled if it's your battle under your control. Numa Draga Chief Chieftain and Ray of Master Smith. I've quite like a four etched. Um got full store and Simon's Storm Table, which is a very good card. Again, great reprint. I'd quite like one of the original partners because I don't have any of those yet. Um, I want to make a Timner at Kiri deck, but Timner's quite expensive still. Um, Path of Ancestry, another great reprint there. Taps for any colour, and if you cast a creature that shares a creature type for your commander, you scry one, that's in my Intet deck. Um, Noid Order Saw. 7 mana, 6, 5 of Reach, Trample and Cascade. Very good there. Prophetic Prism, an egg. I like eggs. Burnished Heart, another great reprint. Uh, Ramping Long Green decks. And a Soulfire Eruption, 9 mana Sorcery. So you have um, 3 Mythics so far, which is quite high. Um, I mean, not even that far through the box, we're a quarter of the way through the box, so. Um, getting 12 Mythics would be nice, but I doubt we'll get one of Verna the Chaos Bloom, uh, Cascade Tribal Commander. Around Me of the Dead Tide, another great commander there. Um, basically gives everything your graveyard encore if you want. Um, and a 4 Rummaging Goblin. I do realise I'm going very slow, but I don't mind. And you can always watch this video at two times speed and listen to me rabbiting on about Commander Legends. You can have a great reprint there. Um, basically just a um, blue um, uh, Raider Laboratory or whatever. Another Foundry Inspector. Sky Diamond, another good reprint. Workshop Assistant, good in uh, Tashar Ancestor's Apostle. 
um, confiscate uh, costs a bit too much in my opinion. Um, we've got Vault of Champions, our first um, crowd land or battle bomb land, whatever you want to call them. Very good cycle there. Keskit the Flesh Sculptor, Prava of the Steel Legion, and a full Elvish Doomsayer. Basically a reverse Elvish Visionary. Um, very nice there. Right, three packs left. Yes, I know I do open my packs very neatly. I do like to keep them. Um, so it's just interesting to know how much money I've spent on the game and how stupid I am. That piece form there. I'll go a bit quicker now. Path of Ancestry. Flesh Bag Marauder. Wall and the Ethos Isle, very good there. And another Battle Bomb Land. And Lisa of Shroud Dusk. Um, sort of more of a Staxi car, um, car like Kambul, Chief Compliance. Very good there. And uh, Halana Kessig Ranger. And a full Bitter Revelation. Right, two packs left. I'm really hoping for an H4 here. I doubt I'll get one, but... It would be nice to. Right, I'm going to speed run this pack. It's not particularly speed running. Armored Sky Hunter. Interesting card. Malcolm. Oh, Mythic. That's how Rudy opens packs, but I don't really find it fun. Because um, you don't get to really enjoy the cards. Um, when it attacks, look at the top six card of your library and you can put an Aurora or Equipment card from Random onto the battlefield. If Equipment's put on the battlefield this way, you can attach it to a creature you control and then rest on the bottom. Very good in Equipment decks there. And Kamal, Heart of Krosa. Amazing card here. Being of combat in your turn, creatures you control get plus three, plus three and gain trample at the end of the turn. You can pay two and target land you control becomes a 1-1 one, one elemental creature with vigilance haste, indestructible and haste, it's still land, it's got partner. Right, last pack. I'm still hoping an etch foil and either a Sakashima or Tevish Sat would be nice, but I'm being very hopeful here. I'm probably being overly hopeful actually. I wish Doomsayer, say another good card. Palace Sentinel's another good reprint, Opal Palace. Open the Armoury, amazing reprint here. Um, it's a shame Steel Shaper's Gift didn't get reprinted instead. And our final row is Court of Ire. When it ends battlefield, you become the Monarch, and being able to upkeep it deals 2 damage when you target. And if you're the Monarch, it deals 7 damage to that, top, that permanent player instead. Goes to Maria, there, Ramirez de Petro. Um, pirate card there, and another Rogra, son of Rogra, which I believe we got in our first pack, which is nice. And I... Jesus, that's dark. That is very dark. I don't know if you'll sing that correctly, but... I mean, it looks interesting. And people do say to put these in sleeves, because otherwise they get damaged. It's just quite dark and a bit on um, I thought they'd be brighter personally. So you did get a good lot of cards there. Would have preferred more than one preordain, but pickers can't be choosers, can they? Um don't know if that's the expression, but we did get some very good cards like um Mana Drain for example. Um, and Kamal, Heart of Krosa. You get a sleeve for that one as well. Don't know what the other two mythics are worth, worth, but these are probably the best two. And of course, our first pack, Opposition Agent, is also very good. So I'm personally very happy with half of this box. Um, hopefully I can get something interesting in the second half as well. Um, I'll probably make a deck maybe with these cards. Um, I don't know what 
I'll probably build a partner deck because I haven't done a proper partner deck. I've only done partner with decks before. I'm overall just a very good pull, I think. Pull, pulls, I think. Um, especially if the mana drain there. Uh, that was worth a stupid amount before it got reprinted today. Um, so I think that'll be all. For all. Thank you for watching and goodbye.